what are the defining images of Milwaukee? Some might mention a beautiful lakefront, an emerging downtown, a blue-collar city. Others would say scenes of poverty, crime, one of America's most segregated cities. Our city is literally segregated and divided geographically, racially. Decades of division have opened a lot of wounds. Tia Richardson's Band-Aid is her paintbrush. Some people feel hopeless. Some people feel like, like it's not going to change. They absolutely feel like it's not going to change. Tia is a Milwaukee artist and teacher. Her official title should be optimist. It is the work that I do. And so as a teacher, if I were to have a sense of hopelessness in my students, that wouldn't work. <laughs> what kind of teacher would I be? And so Milwaukee is like my classroom. She spent much of her childhood in Milwaukee. As far as friends and my social, my social life, I, I didn't have a good time. I, uh, it didn't help that I was shy. I was super shy. Art became her outlet. The mentors that I had, the relationships that built me up, were outside of school, and they were in my community. Now she gives back to her community, working with schools and nonprofit organizations to produce public art around the city. Like this mural for Black Cat Alley, an outdoor street art gallery on Milwaukee's east side. Tia sees it as an opportunity to spread her message. This mural tells a story about a unified Milwaukee. An uplifting message. It's a reminder of the, the net that holds us all or the web that holds us all because I feel like we feel divided. We need more cooperation. That is something I see we need in this city is cooperation. Segregation, inequity, racial tension. They're uncomfortable subjects to talk about. A big part of the problem that I see happening with, with the division is there, there's a lack of relating. We don't know how to relate to each other. So the conversations never happen. So for me, the key is in transforming our relationships with each other. That is the key. How do we transform our relationships with each other? How we relate to each other? That's why she's determined to create public spaces where people from opposing backgrounds can come together and have those conversations. People ultimately are what changes systems, the person. And at, at my reach, I have the power to influence people. And so that's what I choose to do in my work. Tia knows she can't patch Milwaukee's wounds with a single painting. It's who I am to have a vision or to, to be able to um, imagine and create um, beyond what we know right now. She wants to spark a different emotion simmering under the surface. Hope. I don't think that I could paint this if I didn't already feel that, that the healing is happening. Yeah, because then it wouldn't feel true. This is Tia Richardson's image of Milwaukee. I see hurt and I see pain, and I also see people who are doing diligent, beautiful, excellent work in the community. She hopes one day it'll be everyone else's image, too. I am very optimistic because I, I believe in people. And I believe in my city. I believe in Milwaukee. I believe in what we can do when we come together. 
and that that's my life that's what I eat live drink and breathe so I'm pretty up close and personal with that world and since I see that and since I experience it and since I am in touch with people who who participate in that um, then it's real for me and that's what that's what Milwaukee is